So I want to talk about some of the things that have happened in the last almost eight years since you wrote the initial analysis of Trump. Um, and one of the things, of course, that's happened is that Trump was president for four years. Uh, and in the initial essay after the election, uh, you, you wrote, and you mentioned this again earlier in this episode, that the flavor of Trump's campaign was, quote, hand Donald Trump power and wait to see what he does with it. What stands out to you about his time in office, what he did as president? His campaign slogan of make America great and now make America great again is playing towards that he cares about America. And I think the essence of when he was in office and what he projected was contempt for America, contempt for its ideals, contempt for its history. I, it's the, he's the first um, US president, at least, again, think of it as post-World War II, who knows nothing about American history. And, and really, I think it's he knows nothing about America's history, its political debates, its ideals, um, its founding and the whole aftermath of its founding. He, he literally knows nothing about it and doesn't care. Like, it, it, why would I need to know this to be president of the United States? So it, it's a contempt for its ideals, its history, its institutions, its form of government with, and, and especially with checks and balances and why they existed. It was, he regularly portrayed and, and basically said as much of like, why am I restrained? Why can't I do anything I want? I'm the president. It's like, I'm the boss of the company. Why can't I do whatever I want? Um, and really, there's uh, there's other branches of government, and there's checks and balances on my power. That it was, he couldn't do away with them, but it was, he would want to do away with them. And and more in terms of thinking of it of American ideals, can't understand why they exist. Um, and so you can think of that as the the whole idea of the a rule of law and the, what's so distinctive about the American form of government that the founding fathers created, it's he has contempt for that. And he projected that he has contempt for that. So the idea that he's pro-America, I think, is the biggest fraud. 